Yo gamers, so this is the awaited tutorial of how to add games and folders to your PlayStation Classic, so yeah, let's just roll the intro. So the first thing is you need to make sure you have these two programs installed, which I'll have linked in the description below. And the first one is this program, which I don't know its pronunciation. So this program lets you add PlayStation games and manage your folders. And the second program actually scans for your ROMs and adds them into the first program. So yeah, let's first add a folder. So I've created a few folders already, which I've got my PlayStation folder and my home folder. So you need to make sure you already create a home folder, which I'll show how to do that now. So the first thing is what you want to do is you want to create a folder and call it whatever you want. So let's call it home. I'll call this home one since I already have a home folder. Then you select the icon that you want for this folder. So we want the home icon. So home.png, open it and it will look something like this. And then what you need to do now is in your home is you need to put all your retro folders in. So like with the PlayStation, so we need to then make sure that PlayStation is there and whatever other console like GBA, we need to then make sure it's here. So yeah, I'm going to delete this folder now because I don't need it no longer. So remove folder. And what you would need to do though is click here and then click home and then generate. So I'll do that now, which shouldn't make much difference. And then we'll add a new folder. So what we'll do is we'll create a new folder. So first thing is we want to create a GBA, so new folder, GBA, and then what you want to do is what I've done, which is very smart, is I've called it A to Z here, as you can see, because what will happen is if you create a just GBA and then you had another console that add A in it, it would push GBA down, so then it wouldn't open up GBA anymore, it would open up what is the next folder, so if GBA was the first one you created, it would be labeled 1. And then if you create something that's A, that then gets labeled 1 and GBA gets labeled 2. So what I've done is I've gone through the alphabet and gone A for everything. So like these ones it's A, A, and then for all, for like SNES, all of them are B, and then C and so on and so forth. So you create GBA, and then you would select the icon like we did before, so on GBA, and then you would click GBA. And then after that is you would then save it and then generate it. So what I'll do, I've already created GBA, so I'll remove this. As you can see, I've got GBA here, so it's D, GBA. So I don't need to generate anything. And what we'll do is we create a new folder in here, like this, and then we need to look for what GB, where GBA is. So we need to go to this program, scan for our USB, and then where it says launches, you can see now all the folders that we've created. So let's find GBA. So we've got GBA here, but this isn't the right one, so we need to go back to where it could be located. So there we go, perfect. So we found it. We highlight all the icons and drag and drop them in. So now they're all in here. Wait for them to actually finish. So now that they've finished, you need to go into edit game.ini and then call it what you, what it is. So it's GBA in both GBA and then, oops, I put space. And then it's Nintendo, so call it Nintendo. And then of course Nintendo again, so Nintendo. And then make sure you save it. And then close this and then what you want to do is now rename the PNG file so click yes and then now as you can see the PNG is called GBA which is the name of the disk so yeah that's created so what you want to do now is create another folder so when you're going here you would create another folder and it would be the next letter in the alphabet because if you have too many games the PlayStation Classic will actually freeze and close so it will just shut down so what I've done is I've gone through the whole alphabet and I've gone and put all the letters in so I've got a few letters going from like Z y to z and so on so yeah what what i'll do is now we want to create this folder so you create this folder in here make sure that you generate it so it creates the actual folder and then back here what you want to do now is create another folder and then look for where those are located so because we've done a to you know putting it a b c it should be the next one in the line as it is as you can see so then when you drag and drop those put those in like we did before and when those are transferred over then you want to edit and then you want to call it GBA 0 dash C and we'll copy and paste that and then we'll do that again and then we'll go into and then we'll call it Nintendo so Nintendo and then copy and paste that and then make sure that you save it most of it is just you know repeated work so it gets repetitive really quickly so you rename it like we did do with the PNG and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scan our games so what I like to do is I like to take all my ROMs out of GBA and then scan only 0 to C. 
So as you see, I've already done that. So if I go back in my backups, it goes from D, then it should be all the way down to Z, as you can see there. So I've already moved those out. So what it'll do is we'll scan G the GBA folder and only scan zero to C. So in this program, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you select GBA and make sure that you have this downloaded. So if we go to the cause and you can see that I have it downloaded, but you need to make sure that it's extracted. So what you do is you download 7-zip and then you open it. And if you see a load of these, it means it's already extracted. But if you see just one file, make sure that you drag it out, delete the original and then rename the new one the exact same as the original. So it would be this dot so and then hit enter when it asks you to, to rename it and then that should be done and then what you want to do is you want to actually scan your ROMs I already did it but my first recording actually crashed so yeah what you want to do is you want to scan the ROMs and then I'll explain what all this means after it's scanned so I forgot to explain something so in the main folder where you have this program located you need to make sure you have a games list so I've got a games list created for my GBA games as you can see there's all the information for the games and here's all the icons so you need to make sure that you have one of those because if you do the scan without it it won't actually scan for any icons so basically that's what this means so it means it's found 40 it's found 42 games but only 40 of them have icons and two of them don't so if we go back to here now and hit refresh try not to hit sort but just hit refresh and if we scroll through now we'll see all the GBA games as you can see like that one doesn't have an icon but if you keep going through see that one also doesn't have an icon but if you scroll through all the other ones do so what you would do is just manually add the icons and the information for the games that don't have icons but yeah that's already created so what we need to do now is we're going to recreate the database and then we need to locate the the GBA so in GBA now that we've created those files we need to look for the folder with the alphabetical letters in it add that into here and we also want and then what we want to do is go into the actual folder now we want to add GBA in there and then add the rest of the games going from the first one all the way down to the last one so alt shift and then click on the last one and then click add so that will add them over as you can see they're all listed and then what you want to do is you want to go to the home folder as you can see I've got PlayStation in there and we want to add the GBA folder which is this one in there so what that means is this is your home folder so when you click GBA it will open that folder and then from GBA then you would click either this letter or any of the other folders that you create later down the line so you want to generate so you want to go and click here where it says choose a folder for first boot so this will be the first time you boot up the system you want it to be the home folder then you want to generate it and now that that's generated so now all those games should show up on your PlayStation Classic so yeah let's move over to the PlayStation Classic now And then select Bloom Sync. And if all goes well, we should have the icons on the home screen. Yep, so we have the original PlayStation and then we have the Game Boy. So if we open PlayStation, I've not actually put these in folders from A to Z because I don't actually have that many PlayStation games, as you can see. So yeah, the home button's still the pipe. And I know a lot of people didn't like the pipe, but I thought the pipe was all right. You know, it's like Mario, you go through the pipe and you enter a different location. So yeah, let's open Game Boy. I've not tested it yet, so we're going to test it together. So yeah, we've got the zero to C, and then we'll open that. And then all the Game Boy games should show up. There we go. So yeah, they've all showed up perfectly fine. And the two that didn't have icons have also shown up. So yeah, if we open up a game, let's open up... Uh, let's open the first game in the listing. So let's open 007. So yeah, as you can see, it's loaded perfectly fine. So what I've done is I've put the actual opening the disk button, the swap disk button as settings. And then I've actually put power button as speed up. And then of course the reset button is quit. To go back, you click the Game Boy icon. 
and then you're back in Game Boy, which I actually forgot to put a home button here. But what you would do is do what you've originally done and then put the home button in the Game Boy folder so you can actually go back to the PlayStation icons, which I originally forgot to do. So yeah, that's it.